everybody, David Ellison here. Welcome to the Rock Shop. We're hanging in uh, beautiful, sunny Arizona outside today, a little different setting. And uh, I was thinking about something here recently. I was up in a music conference and, and I attend some of these things regularly and, and the, the concept of networking came to mind. Um, you know, it's huge for everybody in this world to network, to be plugged in. Um, nine times out of ten, most jobs you're going to get, even if you're not a musician, come, you know, partly from a resume, but usually it comes from knowing somebody. That's usually your way in the door in almost anything we do in life, and the same is certainly true for musicians. Um, being able to talk to people and engage in that is, is a, you know, a quality that comes easier to some, maybe not so easy for others. Uh, but we certainly all know of musicians that have had some maybe marginal or questionable talent who have gotten hugely successful just because of their ability to go out and sell themselves and, and to basically be connected. And a little personal story uh, of mine, when I, back in 1983 when I moved from the little farm in Minnesota out to uh, the big city of Los Angeles, California to get my, my professional career really kicked into gear. I, um, a few days after I got there, I took this job doing uh, phone sales, selling solar energy, and uh, I hated it. It was the most, uh, it was just so not on my radar screen of what I wanted to do in my life. But as I got there, these guys who were training me how to talk on the phone and sell, they're like, oh, this is a great job for you, David, because as a musician, you're always going to have to be selling yourself. And I thought, really? I thought I was just going to play music, you know? But the truth of it is, they were right. And uh, what they taught me and what that experience taught me was that being able to talk to people, being able to communicate mostly, more than anything, is just be able to communicate thoughts and also, you know, selling isn't, doesn't always have to be something where you're trying to con somebody into something that they don't want. It's mostly about being able to communicate and let people know what you have and why they may be interested in it. And that's something that all musicians have to be able to do, whether, um, you know, as we query uh, record label interest, management interest, uh, agency interest, uh, as we're you know talking to fans on MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is you do, uh, those are all forms of networking and plugging in. And of course, the internet has made that easy you know easier for uh, for for most of us. Um, but sometimes, let's face it, it's easy to hide behind your your modem and your and your computer monitor and, and communicate things out that maybe you wouldn't be able to do if you're sitting in front of somebody having to have that same discussion. So. You know, here in the music business, obviously, we you know we do a lot of interviews. We communicate, you know, with our fans, but we also have to communicate with other forms of media. And uh, and again, just as importantly, being able to communicate with other people within our industry. Um, I've had some experiences where um, I've had to, or I've chosen to take gigs or play on sessions or um, just even lend a hand in certain things. There was no, and I, and I, I did it even though there was no money involved and maybe there wasn't really even much prestige involved in it initially. Uh, the truth of it is, is I did that because I wanted to get networked into a new crowd of people. You know, maybe it was a new producer, maybe it was a new songwriter, um, taking gigs in, you know, New York, Nashville, various places, because all of a sudden, once you're in the town, once you're in the room, you can have the conversation. So a big part of networking is just getting in the room. So to a large degree, you know, even though you may think about, yeah, I don't really want to go, or there's, not, that's, there's nothing in it for me, sometimes the best thing to do is think about, is to not think about what's in it for me, and to think about, you know, what's maybe the bigger picture here? What, what are some things that I can do, uh, you know, uh, in this particular situation where, where you know, essentially it, it, it plugs me into a, to a whole new network and plugs me into a whole new scene and a whole new uh, batch of people. And a lot of musicians, you don't even necessarily have to be an artist looking for a record deal, but certainly a lot of session musicians, gigging musicians, you know, that's how, quite honestly, they get a lot of their work, is by being networked, being plugged in, have an active email, have an active phone number, return those emails, return those phone calls. And of course, any sort of online presence in this day and age is hugely important as well. And uh, so anyway, thinking about more than just our 24 frets or our keyboard or our drums or whatever we're, in, you know, we're into, you know, lots of times the, the reality of being a, a working and successful uh, musician and artist has a lot more to do with our ability to be able to be networked and to be able to sell ourselves than it does even with just our ability to play music because even as a musician or an artist, you are a lot more than just your talent as a musician alone. 
So anyway, the world is connected by people, so go get connected to people. You can get me on email, rockshop at davidallison.com. Thanks for stopping by.